Good evening. Tonight I'll be talking about decorators. What is a decorator? A decorator is used when you want to modify the behavior of a function. It takes a callable or the function as an input parameter. And then it has a uh, it has a wrapper function which wraps the function around it and performs additional task before or after the original function is called. <clears throat> uh, let me show you an example here. We have a, a, a Python module called dec.py and we have a simple function test a b which takes the parameters a and b and simply returns the sum of a and b. So let's run this module python dec.py Okay, so <coughs> the expected result is 7. Now let us say we want <coughs> to modify the function so that first it prints a message saying invoking wrap function with arguments here. So what we're gonna do is we will decorate the function. I'm gonna save the module and now let's run it again. As you can see here, <coughs> at decorate, decorates the function test. And what happens is that at decorate will take the function, which in this case is test AB. And this will be printed here, decorating the function test. And there's a wrapper function. As you can see here, invoking wrap function with argument args. That's what we pass to test, which is AB it prints this message first and then we have we return the function which is test AB it returns the value 7 so that is what decorating is all about now let us say you want to change how the function works so that instead of just getting A plus B you're actually returning the square the sum of the square of A and B so what you can do is you can modify the arguments and say the argument is A times A then B times B let's run this again let's save this and let me see run it again and as you can see here it's returning 25 you have modified how the function behaves without touching it. It's very useful if you're working with an API that you cannot change, for example, if it's a shared object. All right, so uh, that's our for tonight. Have a good night. Bye.